الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله أشهد أن محمد الرسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاة حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله اللهم رب العرش لا إله إلا الله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن اهتدى بهديه إلى يوم الدين وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون ويقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا ويقول الله سبحانه وتعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما Indeed in the taqwa of Allah and in the remembrance of Allah and in the worship of Allah سبحانه وتعالى a great 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 success and it is through being mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perfecting ihsan 
And to give you a practical example of Ihsan, every time you make a decision to come to Salat, whether it is Fajr, Dhuhr, Asr, Maghrib, or Isha, you are reaching for that Ihsan. And ta'bud Allah ka'annaka tarah, fa'in lam tarahu fa'innahu yaraak. It is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as if he is a present and you see him. And if you can't know and understand that Allah sees you, anytime we come for Salatul Jum'ah or any other Salat, this is a practical example of Ihsan. Once the mind is conscientious of who Allah is and the action is being done to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah alone. Because at the end of the day, when we line up to pray, we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's in the mind, what's in the heart, and what the actions of the limbs are doing. And this is a practical example of how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and perfecting ihsan. So let it be in our mind every time we approach salah, it is an opportunity for you and I to perfect righteousness and to perfect that ihsan. So when we enter the masjid, while the salah is already being established, let us enter it with tranquility and, be, and peace in order for the rest of, of us to maintain that tranquility and peace in our salat. And be conscientious of the brother or the sister next to you, to your right or your left. Help them attain that level of ihsan in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lessen your movement yourself. So we can together as a community perfect that ihsan, that level of ihsan and help one another. أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار. And indeed, in the guidance of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the best role model and the best example. The more we get closer to the sunnah, the more we understand it, the more we actualize it in our daily routine and our life, the more we get to that status of ihsan and righteousness. And indeed, in a time like this, you and I should be counting the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon us. And there are many. Even if we were to sit down and count them, we will not be able to do so. Just to give you a little bit of history of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon this community, I'm going to take you on a historical journey. Transform yourself to June 2008. This land that the masjid sits on was purchased. Move forward to September 20th of 2010. The school was built. Move November 1st of 2010. The gym was established. And then move forward of January 22nd of the year 2015. This musalla you're sitting in today was established. And this is, this Friday actually marks the fifth year the Jum'ah khutbah was delivered from this member. This is, does not happen, dear brothers and sisters, except by the will of Allah, alladhi la ilaha illa hu. In a time like this, in a memory like this, we should be always thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And as our children today mark the first hundred days of school, look at the pre-K1, pre-K2, and the KG students. This is, means a lot to them. In a hundred days, they've learned a lot. And if you have a son or a daughter or a grandson or a granddaughter in those levels, sit down and look at how much they learned and have accomplished. This is, doesn't happen by accident, dear brothers and sisters. This is sheer blessings of Allah. And then we should not forget the expansion that just took place not long ago. These sheer blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in a time like this, you and I should sit down and reflect, what does this place mean to you and I? What does this place mean to our community as a whole? To know, you have to understand what Allah said with regard to the message. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfectly declared their purpose. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Jinn, chapter 72, وَأَنَّ الْمَسَاجِدَ لِلَّهِ فَلَا فَلَا تَدْعُوا مَعَ اللَّهِ أَحَدًا These places we establish, which becomes the core of our society, the hub which everything should launch from, they are for the remembrance of Allah. So objective number one for you and I in a place like this, that we must make the Qur'an and the Sunnah the highest level. That's how we make decisions. And when we say Qur'an and Sunnah, we must understand under what methodology this is being applied. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and encircled them with great, great companions. Among them Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali radiallahu anhum ajma'een. And our female companions or the female companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Among them Aisha, Asma bin to Abi Bakr and all of the wives of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all of those great female sahaba that encircled the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is how we succeed. Their example is the example we must live by. Now that we understand that the masajid for the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's a major task you and I must take. So something also becomes important. It is a place of establishing the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why we established the school. So our children can learn that deen of Allah alladhi la ilaha illahu. In a country like United States and other countries, where the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has disappeared, it is incumbent upon you and I to make those places, these places, the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, are places where the deen of Allah is being taught. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in Surah At-Tawbah. إِنَّمَا يُعَمِّرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَأَقَامَ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتَ الزَّكَاةَ وَلَمْ يَخْشَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَعَسَى أُولَيْكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُحْتَدِينَ From the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you want to know a society is on the right path, if you want to know a community in the right path, if you want to know you are on the right path, listen to this ayah. What a wonderful ayah like the rest of the Qur'an. Lessons to be learned. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stated, إِنَّمَا يُعَمِّرُ مَسَاجِدَ اللَّهِ The ones that are constantly in the masajid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Men who? آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ Developed iman. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Define for us what iman. Amantu billahi wa malaikati wa kutubihi wa rusulihi wa bil yawm al-akhiri wa bil qadri khayrihi wa sharrihi. Wa al yawm al-akhir and believed in the day of judgment. Wa aqam al-salat and established prayer. Wa aata al-zakat and gave zakat. Wa lam yakhsha illa Allah. And they had no fear of anyone or no one except the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَعَسَىٰ أُولَئِكَ أَنْ يَكُونُوا مِنَ الْمُحْتَدِينَ Indeed, those will be from the guided people. So as we establish these places for the remembrance of Allah, let it be the learning of the deen, criteria number one, that we do in every moment of our life, in every time we get together. The second criteria, the masajid should be the society focal point where we come together as a community and make decisions that be benefit us and benefit our children and benefit the future generation. Just look at the history since 2008. And this is just a small sample of the history of this community. And those brothers and sisters that preceded us that had that vision. This place should be the focal point where we all come together and make major decisions. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah At-Tawbah. لَمَسْجُدٌ أُسِّسَ عَلَى التَّقْوَى مِنْ أَوَّلِ يَوْمٍ أَحَقُّ أَنْ تَقُومَ فِيهِ فِيهِ رِجَالٌ يُحِبُّونَ أَنْ يَطَّهَّرُوا وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُتَطَهِّرِينَ What an objective that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have stated for you and I. لَمَسْجُدٌ أُسِّسَ عَلَى التَّقْوَى You hear me every Friday I talk about taqwa. Well, search the word taqwa from the word waqa and see how many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alladhi la ilaha illahu mentioned it in the Qur'an. Then you start understanding the concept. 
Then you understand the importance of the, the concept. So the masajid must be built upon the taqwa of Allah, alladhi la ilaha illa hu. And the taqwa starts with the intentions of the heart and in the mind. Why are we building those masajid and those schools? Allah told us, for the remembrance of Allah, alladhi la ilaha illa hu. أَحَقُّ أَن بِهِ فِيهِ It is deserving, you establish it, maintain it, and keep maintaining it. And occupy it. Meaning, come to salat, come to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do your business. فِيهِ رِجَالٌ In these places are men and women. What do they do? They love to be what? Upon the fitrah. Purified upon the fitrah that Allah created us upon. Go back to their natural instincts. What Allah have put in them since he created Adam till the last human being that Allah will create, which is to gravitate toward the worship of Allah. Alladhi la ilaha illa hu. Wallahu yuhibbu al-mutatahireen. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those ones that seek that purification. The inner soul, the outer soul, the body, the place. The, 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 the clothing, everything. Purification of everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also stated, اُتْلُ مَا أُحِيَ إِلَيْكَ مِنَ الْكِتَابِ وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَى عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ وَلَذِكْرُ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرُ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ مَا تَصْنَعُونَ Allah stated this in Surah Al-Ankabut in verse 45. Directing Prophet Muhammad what to do in these masajid. Therefore, it becomes an objective for you and I. What should we do in these masajid? <laughs> Recite what has been revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And among what has been revealed to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is these ayat we're reciting today. So the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala must be recited in these places. And none other than the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Min al-kitab, from the Qur'an, وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةِ And establish prayer. Dear brothers and sisters, it is not befitting us to have a place like this and we cannot fill two to three lines of people of praying. While Salat al-Jum'ah is important, and I admire the fact we can fill six and seven lines and eight lines, وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهَ الَّذِي لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُ We need to make it a habit of every Salah like this. Now, I understand the weather elements sometimes hit us. But alhamdulillah, we have the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. If the weather element is too severe and it's not safe for you to drive, you stay home. That's from the sunnah. And the other day I was discussing with some of the brothers. I said, I can't wait till we make the adhan loud. Because in a time like this, we will tell the people, stay at your home and pray. That is the sunnah. And there's nothing wrong when we have bad weather for you, brothers and sisters, to stay home and pray. There's nothing wrong with that. Alhamdulillah. This is our deen. This is how Allah made it easy for us. Inna salata tanha anil fahshai wal munkar. Indeed, salah prevents anything that is indecent, sins, immorality. So when you go to a group of people and you find immorality is widespread, then know and understand. The salah is gone. When you go to a community and you see the community is pure in their attitude, in their behavior, and their good character, and you admire their character, rest assured the salah is there. Inna salata tanha'anil fahshai wal munkar. And this is a message to our youth. You need to work on your character. I know you pray with us, I see you in here. No one understand if you are sincere in your prayer toward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll be able to rehab your character. So do some self-reflection and ask yourself, why am, I behave, why am I behaving like this? Then I would look in my salat. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wala dhikrullahi akbar. The remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is greater than anything else. These are some of the objectives that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have stated for us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the haqq. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to protect us. 
بارك الله ويوكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم بما فيه من الآيات والذكر الحكيم أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم استغفر الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله اللهم لك الحمد حتى ترضى ولك الحمد إذا رضيت ولك الحمد بعد الرضا والحمد لله in this community there are many many tremendous you know blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if we were to sit down to count them we can't and as your children go home tonight from school they're going to tell you about what happened for their first hundred days of school let's build upon this momentum let's inject our children and our families with the true disciplines of Islam. The true disciplines of Islam have shaped generation that came before you and I. Those generations have led the world. They invented things that without them, today, my life and your life won't be easy. And all of them were shaped by La ilaha illallah. Those great scientists of their times, those are great sailors that want to pray and want to find the direction of the Qibla. And other than those discoveries, I am pretty sure most of them attended Masajid, most of them memorized the Quran. Most of them sat in a masjid like this and prayed to Allah alladhi la ilaha illahu. We must do the same thing. Among of the objectives of the masajid is to establish education, to educate people in the matters not only of this deen, but how can we take this deen that Allah has given us and make it a practical and apply it to our daily life? in which we work on establishing generations of leaders. You and I will never live forever. <inaudible> Dear brothers and sisters, a humble message to all of us. If you know a Muslim out there in Peoria that doesn't attend this masjid, grab him. We need to know who he is. We need to know who she is. Part of the purpose of the masjid is to help everyone. It is sad when I get a phone call about a person that passed away in Peoria nobody knows anything about. I don't know about you, but I lose sleep over this. Allah entrusted me with this position. I need your help. I don't know everyone in this community. Most of us, you know your, your group. You know who you contact with. It is important that we know every Muslim in this town. This is a responsibility for all of us. I am willing to go visit whoever you want me to visit. Just grab me, we'll go visit them. Let's get to know them. We need to work together. This place is not only to educate people, but it is a hub for you and I to come together, to come to know one another. The social aspect of our masajid is very, very crucial and very, very important. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An-Nur. فِي بُيُوتٍ أَذِنَ اللَّهُ وَأَن تُرْفَعُ وَيُذْكَرَ فِيهِ اسْمُهُ يُسَبِّحُ لَهُ فِيهَا بِالْغُدُوِّ وَلَا صَالِ رِجَالٌ لَا تَلْهِهُمْ تِجَارَةٌ وَلَا بَيْعٌ عَنْ ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَإِقَامُ الصَّلَاةِ وَإِيْتَاءِ الزَّكَاةِ يَخَافُونَ يَوْمًا تَتَقَلَّبُ فِيهِ الْقُلُوبُ وَلَا بُصَارِ لِيَزِيهُمُ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنَ مَا عَمِلُوا وَيَزِيدَهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ وَاللَّهُ يَرْزُقُ مَنْ يَشَاءُ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ If these words of Allah does not shape us as a society, I don't know what else. Listen to what Allah said in the mere translation of those ayats. In such houses or homes or places of worship, في بيوتن, in houses of worship, that Allah have permitted that 
His remembrance will run supreme. Today in this place, nobody stopping any one of us to come in here in the middle of the musalla and say, La ilaha illallah. Allah gave us that ability. And then we can sit in here and do tasbih to Allah as many times, as long as we want to. And we can do it in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the evening. رِجَالٌ لَا تُلْهِهِمْ tijara. We all got to earn a living. I get it. We all got to provide for our families. But then make a portion for this masjid in your time. Run your life around the ibadah of Allah. Don't run the ibadah of Allah around your life. Wala bay'un. Commerce and selling and buying does not occupy him from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Does not occupy him from establishing prayer and giving zakat. Yakhafuna yawman. They fear on such a day that Allah will turn the hearts. Today, you and I are sound. We're sitting here for Jum'ah prayer. We're saying, La ilaha illallah. There is no guarantee the next hour we'll do the same thing. It is up to Allah. La ilaha illahu. Let's get together and get closer to Allah as a community. This is the place to do it. There is no other place to do it in Peoria than this place. The Masajid is the place to do it in. لِيَزِيَهُ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنَ مَا عَمِلُوا don't you want the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? We all want that reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, And Allah will increase their, his favors upon them. You want your family to be a good family. You want your children to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get closer to Allah. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the way he commanded. And look at the results. This is not new. This is how the leaders of the past that led this world, if you were to examine their seerah, their life, you'll see they did these things. Then Allah bestowed his blessings upon them. Wallahu man yasha, and it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides for whoever he wants, bighayri hisab, without accountability. Allah الذي لا إله إلا هو can grant us whatever he wants. But then it's up to you and I what we do with it. So dear brothers and sisters, our call today is very, very simple to all of us. This place is important to you and I. It's important to our children. It's important to our sisters. Let's make it a habit where we come together and learn the deen of Allah الذي لا إله إلا هو. And take this deen outside here and show it in our actions to the rest of the world. And a call to our young generation, the future leaders. It's not going to be easy for you. Your challenge will be worse than our challenge. Get to know the deen of Allah. So when I hand you the microphone, your behavior matches the responsibility of the microphone. Allah entrusted you to be a son of a mom and a dad. Or a daughter of a mom and a dad. They send you to learn. Learn! This is what our deen is about. Allah gave us a wonderful place, a wonderful facility. The moms and the dads that joined us today, you can see the joy in their faces. When their child have done a milestone, 100 days of learning. So this is what it's all about. This is how we can restore the honor of this ummah. It starts with us taking the deen seriously and make it a quartier in our life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make the deen a quartier of our life. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the haq. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to protect us. And inshallah ta'ala tonight, if Allah wills it and we live till tonight, we'll take a look, a quick look inshallah ta'ala at the role of the masjid during the lifetime of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa in the hope that we will learn one thing or two that we can implement ourselves inshallah ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect this ummah from any impending danger upon it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our dear brothers and sisters that are struggling and suffering everywhere and anywhere. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to provide them with a quick relief. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to land us upon the haqq. Aqim as-salah, yarhamukumullah.
لا اله الا الله